And to him is definitely more powerful. No, 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 no. Not friendly, I wish. And now it's woken up, hasn't it? That's not good, guys. That's not good. Because I have a cooldown on my enchanted item, so I can't just spam healing from the latte. Are you showing your... Excuse me a second, guys. We're going to we're going to turn off Lattice's camera until he stops showing his butt. Why are you on kitten? You're getting very comfortable up there. It's still a cute butt, right? Okay, we're dying. This is gonna heal me. I don't know how much. That's it. I can't have more potions than that currently. One. Cliff Racer down. Look at all the wolf is not fighting. Yeah, I did a combo with my short blade. Cliff races have grown wary of me. Thank you. So Okay, the puppy is puppy is cool. You you're cool puppy. I can um I can leave you Oh crap, no, I don't have any meat. Sorry, puppy. No meat for you. Okay, now you're... Well, you you attacked me. Well, what were you expecting? Seriously. Don't, don't attack me. Alright, inside we have an NPC, so... We'll try the fist combo. We'll try the fist combo. We said... Forward, don't move forward. Quick save. she. That was enjoyable. Let's try that again. I mean, I'm taking damage already, but... <laughs> I'm enjoying this. And it's stunning him. Hang on. No, no, no. Stay, stay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not stunned anymore. Oh, I... was fun while it lasted, guys. Let's try again. If I, if I successfully do the combo over and over and over again, then I can stun lock him. The moment he can swing at me, it takes two, three hits, and, and that's it. Then I'm done. But I think we can do it. Even without a companion to help us. Actually, with a companion, it's a lot harder to do those combos. Let's try again. We want a belt to protect ourselves. I'm gonna try to go with my fist and do the combo. Oh, I have a ring with sanctuary. Is it equipped? It is equipped. Sanctuary for five seconds. What's the point of that?
No point, that's what. Absorb health could be nice, right? But honestly, my odds of casting this... Is there a Hadoken combo? <laughs> the thing is, you discover the combos as, um, as you level up. So for now, I only know two combos. I need to get my skill to 50, 70 and 90 to have all of them. The last one is an ultimate combo and it tends to be completely OP. Uh, but if you look at other things, Longblade, I have very low skills, so I only know the one. Short blade though, chop chop slash, thrust thrust slash, that's fairly easy to do because it hit hit, side, forward forward, slide. It's like a dance, like hit hit, that's, that's how you attack. You're in luck. There you go. But we'll try with the fists again. Okay, I'm just going to pummel him down. That's what I'm doing. Ouch, 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 ouch. It doesn't work. The combo is better. Yeah, okay. I think I was very lucky the first time when I managed to stun lock him like for three. I did three combos back to back. Stunlock is OP enough, but you have to successfully do the three attacks. And the, like, the, connect, the, the attacks have to connect every time. So I miss it. I'm going to try with the, with the short blade uh, just to do the other combos as well. Practice. Practice makes perfect. And I think with the other one, I'll have the shield as well, which um, might help me. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Then we said chop chop slash forward forward slash chop chop slash forward forward slash <sighs> he's got an enchanted sword that's why i'm taking damage and i'm burning hopefully it won't be a problem uh, I need to heal. Got it. That's right. No, 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 don't, don't get me, don't get me. <sighs> okay, I think I'll accept that. I am not ready to fight on my own. Keep in mind that up to level 4 or 5, I was not fighting at all. I had my orc bodyguard and she was killing everything and I was hiding behind her. It's only very recently that I picked up the weapon myself. So we're not doing that. We're not retrieving the jewels. Not, not happening. Not with that enchanted axe that he's got. Though I know it's no, I, I don't have any way to resist fire. I do have the pants that give me a bit of resistance, but I don't know that it would give me significant, uh, significant protection. You okay, get on the life, the life of Latte. Hey, Glisp, welcome back. All right, so we're not doing this.
So, have I improved my, my speed after all that? I have! I have improved my speed, at least fighting all those creatures. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it some more. I need a scrib to practice my unarmored. Or you know what, I need to pay somebody to train me. But it's starting to be really expensive. She did. She did for for the longest time. It's uh, it's very very recently. But look at her. Look at the climb. That was pretty good. We'll levitate now. It's it's only very recently that she was like, okay, getting money is not enough to say I've conquered the land. I need to be able to face it on my own. So rats. Cliff races. Oh, we have blades. We we have Kaga. Um, Kaga was our bodyguard for the longest time. I can go to her actually. Uh, and then uh, when we bought the manor, she stayed in the manor with the uh, with the baby. And then recently, I talked with Kaga and I asked her if she was happy in the manor, and she said no. I asked her. <laughs> I asked her if she wanted to travel with me, she said no. I asked her if she wanted to mind the shop and she said yes, so now she's minding the shop. It was her choice, 100%. So my current companion is Amelie, but Amelie is not a fighter. In fact, when I talked to her and she told me her story, I thought maybe it was It was a uh, fate, you know? Yes, I know, I need to pet you. I need to pet my guar a couple of times and then she, she stops following me funny. I know, I know, welcome to Morrowind. No, you die. You die first. And if you try to run away, have some poison. That's right. You okay, Guana? It's alright, I got it. Uh, no, they're missing. You're right, they're missing. So when I fight, you only see the gloves, and then when I punch, you only see like floating gloves. Also, they are completely bloody, so maybe that's a sign, right? Let's go say hello to Kaga. Uh, which I, I believe I have. I, either I have it installed and I did not activate it, or... Yeah, I have it there. But... For cliff races, I have my own mod that is way, way older than yours, where they essentially, after a certain number of cliff races has been killed, the cliff races are removed from the level list and replaced by pacified cliff races. It's, um, it's a clunky way of doing it with a very basic knowledge of scripting. Moro in scripting, uh, but that's how I did it. And so I still have that. But I've installed your mod, especially for permadeath, because it could be a, a good objective to be a Nyx Hound Hunter or something like that. So I have it installed. So right now it's at the default 2000. I think it's going to take a little while until we, we actually kill 2000 of them. For now, let's uh, recall. Uh, 
you don't have as much blood on creatures. I mean, I have lots of blood because I'm not wearing armor, so obviously. Uh, I don't, I don't know creatures. If uh, mine are particularly bloody, maybe, maybe. My hero is a, is a mean princess, you know? Don't, don't mess with her. Richter, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Hey, what's up, Ajira? How you doing? Nothing new? You want to tell me more about the plants? Ajira is so passionate about plants. So every time I stop by, I talk with her. And I learn a little more. We're friends, you know. She, she got a her journeyman's robe thanks to me it's true i helped every time this guy is so rude you are and you know it Let's see what Galvadir has for us. Step right up, Outlander, and look over my collection of scrolls. How about the flashy and cheap Talbum Scorcher to burn your foes? Or on Ducey's unhinging to open stuck chests and doors? If you're going somewhere dangerous, try some scrolls of vitality and vigor to restore your health and fatigue. If you're in real trouble, you'll want Almsivi Intervention or Divine Intervention to transport you instantly to the nearest temple. That is my number one problem with Voices of Ardenfell, the fact that traders, including traders that have a particularly long greeting, like her, like Ariel, every single time you talk to them, every single time you get the whole speech. And uh, obviously I have no idea how it is with the code, difficult, not difficult, doable, not doable. But I would like it, I would prefer it if after you've heard the whole greeting, then you get nothing more but a greetings and that's it. That's my biggest problem with the uh, voices of Vardenfell. I prefer not to have everything voiced, especially during the stream, because then, um, you know, <laughs> we can talk. I don't like the competition, but uh, yeah. Um, Hash Babe, hello, welcome back. Missed to install multiple marks and recall. You wanted that a lot. There are multiple mods for that. I have the MWSE version of it, which I really like because it takes into account my level of mysticism. Um, but then there's the old one uh, that still works fine, especially if you're on OpenMW. That's probably the one you want to use. Um, and yes, I do know, Glisp, that if you, if you pick another topic, uh, that is voice then it's going to it's going to start this one instead but you know not not quite the same let me see with any luck no I was hoping that I could get a couple of hammers and repair things here welcome adventurer looking for an equalizer something to give you an edge against a superior opponent when you need to do a lot of damage in a hurry you can't beat a poisoned blade Try my inexpensive iron spider. Ooh, dagger. we have a, a whole set of steel alloy. It's heavy armor. Pleasure is all. The one scaling with mysticism, then what the one you need is the MWSC. Uh I forgot the name. But it's there, it's the one I'm using. And also I like it because you can also uh either you recall to a place or you have your companions recall to you, which is also very nice. So here's what we need to do. That's not what we need to do. I need to find a new backpack for Kaga, my orc companion, because she's wearing mine and she doesn't want to give it back. So, if I get her another backpack... 
You don't have backpacks? You know they're really fashionable and you really should sell them. You do not. Alright, fair enough. That's, that's a nice dress. You know what, I'm gonna buy it for, for Kaga. She works at the shop. It's worth 233. I, ca I cannot buy it for less than its value. Regardless, maybe with 100% mercantile, but right now my mercantile is pretty high. What is that? Okay, yeah, it is, it is what it is. It is what it looks like. Fair enough. I can't take any more. Come on. I paid full price for it. And you know it. Uh, would the outfitter sell the backpacks? Mm, sure, if you play as a Breton mage, you, you're pretty good with mysticism from the beginning. Hello. Do you sell backpacks? You do not, but what is this? Blacksmith, top, wits. We're not going to buy this for Kaga. We're not give her sexy blacksmith outfit. Come on. Let's let's get real. Um no, not happening. Though we have all kinds of camping gear. Here we go. I'm gonna go. There we go. Thanks. Right, bye. No need to be weird about it. Uh oh. There's a, a Guar traffic jam in Balmora. I'm gonna go to Meldor. I promised Kaga I would give her pauldrons. And uh, I keep forgetting. Hey, Meldor. Do you still have a pair of light pauldrons, maybe? I don't know why you're selling dress robe here. It's not going to be very popular. You know what, Kaga can have bone mold pauldrons, that's fine. Alright. I'm gonna pick up Amelie. I hope she's recovered from her fish killing frenzy. This one? It's my shop. It's my clothier shop. I'm gonna go there in a second. Just give me a second. This is just crazy. Here we go. just want to go and pick up our friend. She should be in that building over there. Right here. Hello, Amelie. Right. You want to you wanna come back with me? We have to get you a better robe than that. Unless, what, what is this? A disguise? It has to be a disguise. It can't be anything else. All right, let's go. I'll introduce you to Kaga. Let's go. Up, 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 up. There's lots of people to talk to, but uh, the man sitting in the corner. We, we'll talk to him later, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not ready for more tasks and more job. We have already. She really does. Uh, but I have a couple of things that I think she will like. There we go. This is my shop. Now, I don't have full shelves of clothes. However, I did order uh, all kinds of exquisite uh, and extravagant clothes from Cyrodiil. So I have a really good choice of really expensive clothes. Not so much in the way of common clothes. 
Hello, Ophelia. Uh, the last time I left, I asked Ophelia to make me a robe, and I think she's wearing it now. You know, and that's not how it works. Right? Have you been paid for your work? Yeah, she, she pays herself from here. She did. She did make a bit of money. The Clothier, the Clothier works. Mine gives me errors and puts me to the desktop. Um, you mean like the Clothier shop or... And also which version are you using? Because this is the one updated by Zorbator. And so I think they, they did some revision to the, the script and the code. Uh, unfortunately, this is not... For me to live here, it's not enough. By the way, this is baby Helvian. She's not hungry right now. Good. There we go. Good night, Helvian. Sleep tight. Oh, hi, Amelie. And this is Gaga. Hello. May your adventures be great. Thank you, Gaga. How have you been? Look what I've got for you. A brand new backpack. Okay, hopefully this is mine with my stuff in it. Also, I've got you smaller pauldrons because these huge, they just don't go with the dress. The baby comes from the romance mod. Uh, I found her, I mean, if you, if you want to know where I found her, I can tell you. Uh, if not, well, I won't. So just confirm that you want to know. See, that's better. I don't think you need that shield like that, really. I can give you the offhand guitar. It's a little more discreet, what do you say? A little more discreet, indeed. And the rest you can keep, the hat and everything. Looks good on you. Right, Gaga, everything fine here? You don't know? Well, think about it and you'll tell me. You found a new version, the Zorbital one? That's the one I'm <clears throat> that's the one I'm using and it's uh it's fine. I'm overburdened. You 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 Yes, little Helvian is adopted. But with the romance mod you can romance an NPC and then you can get pregnant and you have the robe of pregnancy so you look, you know, like you're pregnant and then you give birth. All right, so let's see. Look, I have a whole bunch of stuff. I want you to take a look and tell me if there's any of it that you like. All right. She doesn't want to wear this one anymore, and I'm pleased. The scarf is good. I really don't think the robe is very good. Do you want to borrow my robe? Because this one is ugly. Come on. It's really ugly. This is not good for you. You don't want to wear those. That's fine. Right. I was wondering, do you feel like an Imperial? Is Imperial culture important to you or is it in your blood? Well, let me think about it. I'm sorry if it seems like a strange question, but you know, I am only half elf and I don't feel like I belong in Morrowind at all. In Cyrodiil, most people just saw me as a Dunmo, which was fine, since Jaden Hell is mostly populated by Dunmo who live like Imperials, but here, People seem to hate me even more for acting like an Imperial while looking like a Dunmo. Sometimes I wonder if I, if I would be better off if I just looked like a human. What about you? Um, no, I don't think I'm half Imperial. I mean... 
I mean, you know, we're, we're a princess. No, no, no. Am I proud of my... I am proud of my heritage, but at the same time, I was dissatisfied with how much my family was given me in terms of opportunity. But these don't fit, so we're going to go with that. Uh, hello, 69. Welcome on in. Uh, yes, um, we are an imperial. We are born a princess, but as a princess... We were gonna be like the best we could hope for it was maybe to get married to a nobleman or something so we left for Morrowind we joined House Lalu they really appreciated us for our knowledge in mercantile and speechcraft we're doing good with House Lalu uh, we have not completely forgotten about our roots we are still a member of the imperial cult we're doing well with them as well um, when we arrived we couldn't fight at all whatsoever and we had a companion a bodyguard really recently um we we decided to try and you know learn to fend for ourselves and that's what we've been trying to do give or take that's what it is we are lawful lawful good like we we, we follow the law mostly but we're halalu so also it's about using the law to your advantage i guess we haven't joined the thieves guild that's uh we, we hesitated about that but we haven't joined them um that's it actually we're focusing only on a couple of factions our goal is to become influential and have the power that we would never have had if we had stayed in cyrodiil we're also good friends with the duke and we might eventually marry the duke but i would really much prefer to to become a duchess and to rule over Vardenfell because I climbed a hierarchy rather than just marry. So that's that's us in a nutshell. Even in Cyrodiil I felt a little odd sometimes. One time when I was a teenager another noble girl gave me a set of fancy cosmetics as a gift. Lipstick, face powder, that sort of thing. When I went to try it it was all um imperial colored. Pink and white. Do you have any idea how stupid that look on a dark elf skin? It is sort of funny now, but I was actually quite upset about that. But looking like a clown after powdering my nose is better than how the Donma treat me at least. Well, none of that matters now. I'm not going to powder my nose any color when I know you'll probably be dragging me through muck and rain on the bitter coast or something moments after I do it. Life on Vardenfell makes it a lot harder to groom yourself it is very true look at that now you have pretty robe and they're good they're really really good all right we have to get rid of the stuff and gliss what did you say hang on hang on um excelsior so you need to pay for childcare. no um my companion and my assistant are taking care of the baby but for the longest time I had baby Helvian on my back and actually it's quite recently that I realized that I could feed and change the baby. So before that the baby was crying all the time. I couldn't sleep at night. Anytime I tried to rest the baby would wake me up after an hour. What I had to do was give the baby to a companion, send my companion to a different inn so that I could rest. Eventually, I realized that if I fed the baby properly, then baby Helvian would sleep. Uh, but now I don't take her with me on adventures. She's fine here. She's comfortable. There's always money in the chest. Um, so I don't, I don't keep her with me. But I didn't put her in a container. <laughs> it's true that um, the baby doesn't grow up. So you're stuck with the baby. That's, that's the truth. Do I have some clothes that I can leave here? No, not really. Oh, let me see. Is that... Yes! And I got the bowl! This is a, this is a bowl for my guar. Alright. It's still too heavy. It's fine. And I'm gonna crawl to the shop and sell stuff. Uh, Ophelia, you want to take care of the customers? 
Yes, sir. How much longer do you plan to stream? Uh, at, at least for 30 minutes. Okay. I don't know after that. Tell me what you mean. Morrowind will crash when it's time to stop. That's the truth. Why? I'm thinking of making a pizza. You want to make a pizza? And how is that well, dependent on my streaming or not streaming? Just nine lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah nine lines. Kink, you grew tired of the baby as well? Oh. Right, okay, I, I have stuff and I need to get rid of it. The pawnbroker will buy everything, though, hang on, maybe... Warana, maybe you could keep some stuff for me? The helmet I don't want to sell, and you know what? Um, Kagas, pauldrons, we're gonna keep them. We're keeping them. And then it's, it's the potions again. Alright. Please, take all my potions for now. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna take you to my manor. I'm still overburdened? Come on. Guarana? Could you also take all my ingredients? Thank you. Emily, you using the shield? Okay, I mean, if you if you know how to use it, that's fine. Let me take you to my manor. I haven't done anything in the way of decorating. Uh, Kaga lives there now, more often than than me because I'm always on the road. We bought Plalo Manor. Uh, after we solved the murder. So we got, you know, trinkets from uh, previous adventures and the like. I'm also collecting plants, but they seem to take forever to grow. I found this weird egg. Don't know what to do with it, but I've got it. And there are some ingredients, but honestly, I haven't done much. No, the corpse is gone. <laughs> the corpse was removed. Come on. Uh, I did pay 4500 for it. Actually, it was quite funny. Uh, the Imperial Cult had asked me to collect a generous pledge from Kangtungian Ponius in Ebenhart. So I go to Kung Tungian and say, hey, what about the pledge you promised for the Imperial Cult? And it's like, well, yeah, about that. I don't have the money. One of our clerk just left with all the money. So I track down the clerk. I get the money back from the clerk. And then I completely forget about my mission. I arrive in Balmora and I go, wow, I'm so rich. I can buy a house. And I buy the house. And then I had to grind to get enough money to give it back to Kang Tunian. Um yeah basically I spent the money that wasn't mine on the house and it took a little bit of time to you know correct that um you are talking about the mod with the banners okay let me let me uh, go out so we can um because right here the towers are different this is a mod by MW Gek that adds bell towers, clock towers, really. And so that's a different mod. You mentioned the Mages Guild. The Mages Guild is a mod by... Um, I can't think of the name right now. Uh, that's... I know I'm not good with names, but also they changed their names a couple of times. And so... Uh, for a while it was Geralt, but that's not the name that is being used currently. Anyway, that's a mod that changes all the Mages Guild and they have this really cool... The bell tower is ringing. And then the banners... 
Oh, I think it's a, a banner replacer for the shops like this one. And this is a banner replacer, but I, I couldn't tell you which one it is. But there aren't too many of them. If you if you take a look, uh, let me let me find it for you. If you take a look on the Nexus and you look for a banner, I think it might be Tiddy's Tiddy's uh, banner replacer. Or if you want a better idea of all the mods that I have, yes, thank you. It's Stavro Gwyn. Yes, uh, that went by. Uh, Geralt, Gerald, a while ago. Uh, that's that's my mod list. So everything that I have here is there. Latte, you're showing us your butt again. Oh well, that's how it is. And that's it. Like I don't have a whole. Let's go home. I don't have a whole lot going in Balmora. My Clothier Shop, the Mage's Guild, the Tower Bell, um, the Strider's Nest that has a whole bunch of quests and companions on there. And maybe that's it. Guard, follow me. That's good, guys. I have. I'm so important with House Lalu that I now have a guard in my mansion. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm. I'm important. That's how it is. All right. In there, I have all my potions. Let's up transfer all of that. In here we have the ingredients. Transfer all of that. And here this is where I keep stuff that I just want to keep. And I want to keep Kaga's pauldrons just in case uh, she comes adventuring with me again. Oh yes, I did buy an expensive pillow. That was for baby Helvian. I'll uh, I'll give it to her when I get there. I don't need this. It's not even very heavy. What is so heavy? I'm keeping this for sure. You don't need to sneak, Emily. Are you overburdened? You're not even. I can... Uh... No, that's it. You'll move when you want to, right? Alright, things that I want to keep. I have an amulet. Where did I put it? Did I give you the, the charm amulet, Emily? No, I didn't. The Maran amulet I definitely keep, but I think I have a, a Zenithar's Whispers or something like that. And, um, and I don't need Someone that. Watching. I'm carrying way too much. Let's go sell stuff. some junk and, and I don't want it so that 
definitely and then that and that and that yeah no, this this is a very nice shirt i want to keep it this is my pretty town dress i also want to keep it Chameleon does some weird things, but we're good. All right. I need to improve my speed by one point. And the only way to do that is to improve my short blade, my unarmored or my hand to hand. I think I want to pay for training in unarmored. And who's going to train me in Unarmored? The Thieves Guild? Would the Thieves Guild offer training? Or... Not House Lalu, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Gaius, as a monk, thank you, Dito. Oh, and I actually, I did go to Vivek, I talked to... I talked to the informants, but I didn't get the book. Is there any chance at all? Dorisa. Welcome to Balmora. We're a house Lalu town and loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a book called Progress of Truth. Doesn't ring a bell. The Camelotong. Member was found in the river. Well, uh, they had it coming. So I'm guessing Progress of Truth is not happening, right? Nah. That's a shame. I was supposed to get it from Jobasha and then I forgot. I can sell you this one, I don't need it. There's no way I'm summoning anything. Uh, 39 and we're good. Darn! Caius is gonna be so disappointed! I mean, I know I can get a copy of The Progress of Truth if I go back to the foreign quarter. I guess I can with a major skill. It's a it's a quick trip. No. Hit by lightning. Let me tell you, not a pleasant business. All right, okay. Let's go get the progress of truth and then we can go and talk. I don't know, I haven't figured this one out. Um, I do not know which mod makes it so. Good to see. But there's about a 50% chance. Do I buy a treasure map? The first one was fake. Do I buy a second treasure map? Yay or nay? What do you think, guys? I'll go with the, with the first answer in chat. Latte! My get done, you okay there? Oh, so tired. Do I feel lucky? Kinda? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flip a coin. Head, we buy it. Tail, we don't. Except I can't see what's happening. What is it? Heads, we buy it. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't have the feed from the stream, so uh, yes, I buy it. This one better be good. Alright. We're back.
Let's go to Jalashar's. Fancy, very fancy clothes. Oh, we should find out where that treasure is supposed to be. Didn't I sell the bad one? This map is a fake. Oh crap, that's the bad one. Okay. Ooh, I hope I didn't ruin the second map by having two maps in my inventory. Molang Amor. Okay. Not my favorite region, if I'm perfectly honest with you guys. There you go, Gorana. You're such a good girl. Oh. Yeah. I put all my food in my house and now I have nothing. Jobasha is going to be even further down. Other way. It's fifty fifty. It's so good to meet you. No problem, spammer. Thanks you thank you for stopping by. Thanks again for updating the mods. And uh, and if I remember what was the feature I thought of, then I'll be sure to let you know. Have a good time. You don't need to escort me, thank you. Hi, Jabasha. A book today? Yeah, hang on. Right, so I wanted to ask you about the progress of truth. Yes. Um... Oh, come on. How many of those do you sell? Seriously. Hulea is here. Uh, no, actually, we, we did bring Hulea here, and then he continued following me for some reason, and um, and then disappeared. Thank you. Help someone. I think, yeah, I already looked at all of these. Let's cut to the chase. Up. Up. Do you think the ordinator finds it suspicious when somebody comes in, buy a book at Jobasha's, and the moment the ordinator walks closer, we suddenly teleport? It was a bit suspicious, I think. I'm so used to playing a mage. It's probably at exterior cell 000. It's very possible. Um, actually, Julia disappeared on me twice. I had to place at me to get him back. Because, you know, otherwise no quest. Let's go see Caius, now that I have the bloody book for him. And I still have the notes from everyone, that's good. That Bosmer looked fairly impressive, to be honest. The weather is disgusting, but at least we don't have the storm anymore. Oh, and here, that building, is another mod here in Balmora. Uh, illuminated Order. 
And then we have the destroyed Balmora building in Labour Town. A mod by Lucivar using models by Dim Nuisance. Oh, there's Chaos Apartment as well. Just a handful of mods. They're in Balmora. I I'm going to try and get Balmora City of Contrast to work. Um, Vitruvian Guar made patches for a number of mods and I need to see if all the mods that I'd like to have in Balmora I can have with their mod. I really 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 like City of Contrast and mostly I like the fact that it adds quests. For me a... To discuss your orders. Yes. Is something else you want? Just a second guys. Um, for me a town overhaul is nice but I would rather have just three buildings with connected quest rather than, you know, a dozen new buildings that are, at the end of the day, that are just eye candy. And kill my FPS. So, so about my orders. I have your report, and I'll make copies of your notes from Huleya and the progress of truth. Give me time to read and digest all this. In the meantime, I'm promoting you to journeyman. You're doing good work. And here are 200 drakes. Go out and treat yourself to a new pair of shoes. And go do some jobs for the guilds or other freelance work. Just to keep your cover story current. Or get some training. Then, when you're fit and rested, come back and I'll have new orders for you. Right. Uh, thanks guys. Honestly, 200 gold. House Lalu pays better. Uh, but I am actually here for training. An armored. Let's do that again. That's it, that expensive. To reach Aldrin from Balmora on foot, take the road north. Been there, the been there. An Ashlander informant. Yeah. I have heard of a fellow in Aldrin named Hasur Zainsubani, an Ashlander who left the waste to become a wealthy trader. They say the Ashlanders like to give and receive presents. Take these 100 drakes. Find out what Zain Subani likes and get him a gift. Then give him the gift and see if he will tell you about the Ashlanders and the Nereverine cult. Then report back to me. And you want me to go to Aldrin? Uh, do I have business in Aldrin? So, what's the name of the guy I have to find? Hasur Zain Subani is an Ashlander who left the wastes to become a wealthy trader in Aldrin. I'm not sure where to find him, but I'd try the Old Scar Inn in Aldrin first. That's a more respectable place than the rat in the pot or the council club. Right, so my orders are to go and talk to this guy. Did you speak with Hasur Zain Subani yet? Well, sure no. You've gotten everything you can about the Ashlanders and the Nerevarine cult, then report back. Everybody is so impatient. You solved your microphone problem. That is that is good because you've been struggling with that like almost every I stream. Have knowledge to share with you. You do? Like other than what you just told me? Because that's that's all the information I need really. I'm good. Do you mind if I take a couple of probes? Thanks, Gaius. You're the best. You're the best. I'm tired and thirsty. Thirsty, I can help. And tired, I can help. Very tired. I can still help that. Uh, we're gonna take a nap with baby, baby Helvian. It will be fine. My Morrowind, hello, welcome back. Oh, yes, and of course there is Foods of Tamriel that adds a house here as well. But I'm pretty happy with my Balmora. It's Balmora, uh, but the buildings that are added are functional. They serve a purpose, purpose other than looking cool. 